All right, this feels very strange. Never before have I interviewed one of my true, true best friends in the whole world. <laughs> Plus, you actually live with me. Um, Indy, thank you so much for sharing to me. It is a very, very special time for you right now. You've just dropped this book called Sticky Notes. <laughs> what can you tell us about it? Um, I think it's like kind of a coming of age poetry book and it just talks about how I lived in LA and New York and I was kind of just on the road to finding myself really and just like dealing with heartbreak and friendships and every 18 year old kind of thing. So of course writing is in your family, your mother a poet, your sister the pop star Lord who was known for her lyrics. Yeah. Did they inspire you to write? Have you spoken to them about, I guess, the writing process? I mean, my mum installed writing and words in me from a young age, and my sister's just such a cohesive and genius songwriter. I think I kind of always knew I wanted to do something with words, but I definitely actually found writing on my own. I found poetry, I found words, I, I found my passion on my own, which is strange. Mm -hmm. um, but I always knew it would be writing in some way, you know, writing if it was a script or being an actor or something to do with words, so. Mm -hmm. And of course, moving to New York tomorrow, your bags are packed, you're ready to go. Oh, you can see how messy my room is, what you can. But we, don't, we, don't, we don't want to show, we, you don't want to show. Your room's been messy since the day you moved in. <laughs> I know, I know. So moving to New York tomorrow, what is inspiring this move for you? Why make, why make that move? Well, New York is the love of my life. I really just like who I am there a lot. And I have a wonderful group of friends that are kind of my age. I've got school there. Um, I don't know, I just think that New York is so blatant and fast paced that I feel at ease there mm -hmm. and everything's so close together. I, you know, I don't have a car, so I, I want to be outside all the time. So. Totally. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, every young girl and guy loves poetry. Uh, what would you say to those out oh. there right now <gasps> that are thinking, oh my gosh, I'd love to put together a poetry book or I'd love to start writing poetry. Where does it begin for someone? Well, it was a huge process for me because I kind of really had to read a lot. I was, you know, kind of going through my journals and diaries and it was all about my heart and my tears and whatever. So I kind of think that the more perspective I have from other people and, you know, even listening to like the greatest of the greatest, Camilla Cabello, her album, you know, that that's a, that's kind a good of album in itself. And so, you know, I get old poetry and old poets and then I try and bring that into my work and so I think that the more I read the more I write if that makes sense. Every artist has people that they look up to, singers have people they look up to, dancers have people they look up to. Yeah. Who are you looking up to in the poetry or book world? Well I look up to it a lot of old confessionalist poets like Frank O'Hara but I love, I actually really like Rupi Kaur, Cleo Wade, um, I really like Aja Monet, she has a really good book. I love Morgan Parker, her book, There Are More Beautiful Things Than Beyonce is my favourite. Before you go, we have been roommates for the past year. Yeah. Oh my god, um, literally a year now. I know, it's been crazy. <gasps> we, moved, we moved together March the 1st. Yeah, that's I know. Insane. Crazy. Uh, so I thought before we go, why not play a little game? Uh, this game is going to be seeing how much <laughs> we know about each other. We're going to be writing down the answers that we think each other are going to say on this piece of paper. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, okay. All right, three, two, one, reveal. All right, heard you right. Britney Spears, Camila Cabello. Hey, I wrote I the guy that you like with the hair and his hair's like halfway down his face. Who the heck is from where? What's, okay, from what, where? What's that guy that you're obsessed with? He's like, oh, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, okay, where's his ah, hair? Halfway ah. down his face. He's from Coy by your name, but every girl loves him. So I was right? Uh, Even yes, I didn't come up with the name? Okay, you were right. It could have been anyone. Britney Spears, Camille Cabot. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Can I write more than one? I know the song, but I don't know the... Just say it. Oh, like no, just... I know. Okay, I know. I'm really surprised. Do you know it? Three, two, one. Bad things or smooth? Oh, nice. Bad Played things it, or right? smooth criminal? Bad things or smooth criminal. Okay, close. Definitely bad things. Definitely bad what things. What is the, the Annie or what Annie, is the... Annie, okay, it's a smooth criminal song. I would have said Billie Jean. Oh, that's what it was. Ah, oh, Billie damn. Jean and bad things. Yeah, well, what's the one? It's like, hee hee. And it's like... Every Michael Jackson song ever. Three, two, one. Gossip Girl at H2O just said water. Nice. Wait, what do you write? Friends or Spongebob. Friends or Spongebob. Okay, it's a, definitely a tie with both. Well done. Well done. Oh, you nailed you it. Did you see how I did the dots? How great this is. Oh, wow. She really committed to it. I'm interested to see what this is, actually. I don't think she's ever said this, whatever it is to me. You ready? Reveal. 
Now, Jake Paul vlogs at one in the morning. Messy. Yeah, so now, Jake, you hate when I watch Jake Paul at no, one in the morning? Like, the Jake Paul sound, like, I don't mind it, but it's just like that, oh, it's triggering. Like, his, when he swears, okay. he's that dolphin sound, it's like, ah! Okay. And I'm like, ah! Three, two, one, reveal. MJ, that guy with the hair. Oh, Was I right? Chalamet, yeah. I don't know his name. What's I, his name? I, sometimes What's his name? Timoth it's actually pronounced Timothée Chalamet. <laughs> oh, wow. Number one fan. Um, MJ, yeah. you're right. My wallpaper is but, MJ. Um, yeah. So yours is the guy with the hair? Yeah, but sometimes it's like weird like chores that I have to do that day or like some inspirational crap. Like, okay. just whatever. But right now it's the guy with the hair. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. You ready? I have three things. I have three things too. Three, two, one. You're laughing having key around your energy. Oh, how will we know each other? Kiwi banter, your weird food. My weird food. Yes, yeah, so weird. I food. love that. He literally brought home like these creepy smiley face um, hash brown potato things. Oh, no, don't roast the so creepy smiley weird. face hash brown potatoes because like they're from Coraline. They're so nice. Oh, they taste like gravel. They're so nice. He comes to the room, he's like, bro, do you want to try one? I'm like, nah. I was very excited for everyone to try my potato face smiley faces. Hey, anyway, Indy, thank you so much for oh. joining me. Love you always. I'm going to miss you when you go to New York. Congratulations on the book sticky notes is available in the and in the one on instagram Thank you so much. bye love you bye